Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to schedule Python scripts with Task Scheduler on Windows. So first you have to find Task Scheduler on, I mean using your search bar or search icon. So you can just click the search icon and type Task Scheduler and just click on it. And then I already have it, open it here so I will close one of them. Okay, so Inside task scheduler window, you have this uh, task scheduler library folder by default. This is where I'm going to save the task um, that I'm going to create. So you just have to right click on it, create task, and then you can name your task. Um, I mean, you can give your task a name. So in my case, I'm going to say commands runner. So this is the script that I created to basically back up multiple switches. So you just have to also optionally define your description. And in my case, I'm going to select under the security options, I'm going to select run whether user is logged on or not. And then I'm going to, this is under general, general tab, by the way. And the next is Go to Triggers tab, and this is where you um, specify the conditions that will trigger the task. So click New button, the New button, and you can begin the task. So in my, in my case, I'm going to use select On a Schedule, On a Schedule, and then I'm going to say Daily, and you can specify the start date and time uh, if you want. And uh, in my case, I'm going to recur or basically select recur every one day or every day. And then I'm going to select under the advanced settings, I'm going to select repeat task um, every five minutes. And I'm going to run it indefinitely. And then you can leave the other options as is and then uh, click enabled which is already clicked here. Then click OK. And next is Actions tab. And this is where you specify the action that will, that will occur when your task starts. So I'm going to click New and New Action. So you must specify what action this task will perform. So you can actually uh, perform uh, to start a new program or a program, send an email and display a message. These two are already deprecated. So I'm just going to select start the program. And then here, this is where you specify the uh, Python.exe. So uh, in my case, I'm going to, like I said uh, before, I'm going to create a task to basically schedule my Python script that will basically retrieve uh, configurations from uh, multiple switches. So this is where you specify the the path of the Python.exe. So in my case, this is the path, and this here add arguments optional. This is where you specify the your script basically. So in my case, this is the path in the script that I have and then click OK and conditions. Um, so these two are clicked uh, by default. So I'm going to leave it as is. And then under settings, um, you can uh, select allow tasks to be run on demand. So this is um, basically this basically means that you can run the task on demand. So you can basically run it whenever you want. And um, there are, there's also option here that says stop the task if it runs longer than, which is, I'm going to disable this. And this one also. And the running task does not end when requested. Okay, so I'm going to just only select allow tasks to be run on demand. Click OK. So it's asking me for a password. 
Okay, it works. So this is the task that I just created. Uh, the name is commands runner. You can actually just right click on it if you want and then click properties now delete uh, properties and then you can review your uh, I mean the settings of your task okay general looks good triggers so it says after triggered repeat every five minutes indefinitely and then actions this is where you, like I said, um, specify the path of your Python .exe and the path of your script. And conditions, yeah, you saw that before. And then uh, this here, like I said, this is how you uh, basically set uh, so you can run the or your task uh, manually if you want. Okay, click OK. Okay, so. That's it. So you can, like I said, I'm going to just run this uh, now to see if it will work as expected. Okay, run. Refresh. So it says last run here. Um, looks like it worked. So that's how you can schedule your Python scripts with task scheduler on Windows. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.